Uh, All right, guys, the stream is now going. Second Are you match serious for again? For both of these teams. <laughs> they are playing Cliff for round two. Both teams are undefeated. We have uh, Lenity and Touchy B playing. Touchy B on the left, Lenity on the right. I'm just spectating on this team. Okay, dogs. No, don't do this. Touchy is ready. Let's wait see if Wendy is. Any uh, predictions on tank pick? Uh, I think... Uh, touchy? touchy? Yeah, Touchy brought uh, out well, a cax first time. Huh? Yeah, with Lenity, I think he's going to stick with the E4, the Conquer, and the E100. Uh, if not, he's going to switch up those two. He'll stick with the E4, I believe. The E4 is very popular today. Very popular. Yeah. It is in every sort of competition involving a 10. There's no gamble with it like other TDs, right? Death Star, awesome, but you're taking a gamble whether you're going to get the high roll, right? And you, you know, you know that better than anyone so far. Gosh, I know, right? <laughs> I know, huh? Right, Arctic, now we have the 183. We have a guest Arctic, jumping we're in already the live streaming stream. this battle live. Uh, which one? So, uh, we're, Touchy we're versus Landy, the... they're doing it. Yeah. Your, your you battle will be after that. Whoa. We do have a full room here. Kinda. All right, let's see if these boys are ready. What do you think tanks on, think uh, tanks on. for Wicked and Butane and Touchy B? Ah, uh, medium and two heavies. Touchy in the medium? Yeah, let's find out, though. They're all ready to go. Let's start with Lenity. He readied up first. Chieftain from uh, Bolting. Bolting, yeah. He's, he's strong. Tortoise enough. from Deadly. The tortoise. We haven't seen that in this tournament wow. yet. Keep in mind that is the highest DPM chieftain. in the game. Oh, wow. So, Team Britain. And Touchy is not does not have a tank picked or No, he's just still in spectator mode. Remember no, he didn't pick a tank. Oh okay, I looked away for a second. Dual E five is backed up with a bat chop. Hmm. Alright, let's get this going, boys. We have Touchy B in the red on the north side of the map and Deadly, uh, sorry, Lenity on the south in blue. <laughs> right off the we'll bat, see what happens. here's Bolting Sun, Lenity and Deadly are heading towards not Death Valley, whether that be the middle or the horn. Red team is doing the same. Nobody wants to duke this, it out. I think this will be the first time we see both teams go up top. We've seen teams go up oh top before. God. We've seen oh both teams God. go to the bottom, but I don't think we've seen Except for uh, your match, which you didn't record. Yeah, I was going to so, say, we so just bad. watched this. We just watched this happen. <laughs> so we didn't, <laughs> did, we didn't see it spot. then. I just have to get it. Looks like he's trying to get up the hill, and he is. You got up the yeah, hill. Mutate, uh, made it up the hill. Lenardy and you spotted two guys on the way up. You spotted him on the way up. These guys are playing. Oh, like he made it up there undetected, did he not? Yeah, he did make it up undetected, which is hard to do. 
surely well, if you Leonard shoot, he'll be some detected. Slow tanks. Actually, the chieftains aren't that slow, but he can't get too far ahead of his tortoise uh, buddy. Does Deadly have his barrel pointed the wrong way? Uh, no, he, he's, he's maneuvering yeah. around. Yeah. They're gonna turtle. No, you're going around the corner, huh? You're going for a turtle. If you have a turtle on your team, I guess you turtle, right? Exactly. You got her, Tater. Thought you'd wake up. Hey, got turtle uh, power. Playing it safe, trying to figure out where they're going. Melody's detected. I'm surprised that Butane hasn't even taken a pop shot at anybody. Being undetected. I don't know if he's just trying to conceal himself. He's probably I think trying he's, to stay I think he's unseen. worried. Yeah, I think he's worried. Taylor, there he, he is. He's just got spotted. Put all three of them are high DPM and very accurate tanks. If they track him, he will die. And I don't think yeah, the, he's willing to risk his tank. The I'm interested to see how shot. the chieftains hold up against the two E5s. Less. Lane's playing smart. He's forcing them to close the gap, right? The, he wants them to make the run towards him with their DPM. Touchy <laughs> B's moving up. He's taking the right flank. Yeah. It's going to be a tough, tough push on the uh, on team Touchy, being that he only has two hitter tanks. Touchy's taking a very aggressive push up here. He's 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 got himself good. Good solid cover, but uh, he's about to. This is about the end of his cover right here, though. Yeah, from here, this is where no one else can move without. Uh, Unless they go down the hole. Down the yeah. hole is the only way. But well, we exactly looking at, at it. Which in that position where Touchy is, the, he, the he, flank. Yeah. In this particular situation, it. I would take either the bat chat or one of the fives down to the lower road. Yeah. Try to get side shots on the tortoise. Yeah, if Touchy mm -hmm. comes down here and plays the hill from this side over here, uh, from the J spot, Butane's already on the other side. He'll create two spots to protect that uh, Lenny's team will have to protect themselves from. Half this battle has already expired, and we haven't had a single exchange yet. I haven't even had a round Two very fired, reserved I believe, players. right? Uh, round fired. and have... Deadly are pointing the towards the uh, the lighthouse. Haven't figured Do out. We have a protocol goes. for an exact draw on this. Is it, it would it it would just be a straight up reroll? Okay, that's what I would assume. It's the only way it can happen is if nobody lands a single shot in the entire match. <laughs> like Butane's coming up to take that pop shot, get the game rolling. But nobody wants to risk mm -hmm. taking hits. Yeah, I don't see him getting know. shots on bolting from that angle. Which, He'd have to which, come all the if way. You guys, you guys must agree, it was pretty strange for these two captains, yeah. being Touchy and Lenity, to both be so, you know, cowardly playing. Conservative. Right now. <laughs> Very conservative. <laughs> <laughs> well, they've let so much time expire that they, chat. at this point, Good. they don't want to be the, the one to lose. The right? bat chat could roll up and get a side shot on the tortoise, in front of the tortoise. Of course, I would not want to go head on into that tortoise myself, so. Yeah, you just can't get an angle, they can't get the shots up. You could go up the hill here and come up on top of that hill. Well, Bolting Sun still you doesn't can't... know that Butane's over here. As soon as they realize yeah. Bolting Sun or Butane's over here, they might start oh, repositioning. Took a shot. There was one shot. Looks like Bolting just took a shot. Bolting takes another one. It's going to put him in a serious position for Butane to take a strike. Yeah, I think that's what he's waiting for. <laughs> oh, finally they notice Butane's here. Oh, here we are. Butane's uh -oh, detected. Making a wiggle. I'm making him wiggle. Weird. Down he's to going 120. sideways. And he put his side to the team. It's gonna come down to who doesn't get shot here. <laughs> oh, oh Lenity Lenity takes one. Lenity Lenity takes takes damage. Butane has to run. Butane has to hide to win this. Oh, and they know they have to push state. now. Ooh. Lenity takes Lenity more damage. Hit. It's Touchy's game. There goes to Bolting. Bolting's taking on Butane. 
If Bolton well, can slay Butane, you may have a chance. They gotta kill Butane now. If they kill Butane, oh, regardless of the score, they win by uh, tanks killed. He cannot go against the Chieftain in that bat chat by himself. He has to now, though. He has to pull oh, damage into the oh, thing. He rolls, the look, round. he rolls. He flipped over the round. He's and out. Bolting He's takes out Butane, but Bute Bolting's Bolting Sun is a one-shot. He bounces the shot from the distance. He will get another Zero. shot. Oh, I'm highly confused like as to why Lenny is pushing up. <laughs> Lenny's gonna take I a side Lennity, shot on Wicked. Lenny knows that if if Bolting Sun mm. dies, the game was lost for him. But if Bolting Sun would uh, stayed alive, he had the win. So I think Lenny was making an aggressive push to make them miss their shot on Bolting Sun. It works. He gets the victory. Lenny goes up. Uh, in the first, the first round. Bolting had a nice game for oh. Lennon either. Glad to see he's carrying on. <laughs> you wonder why Bolting he didn't do that for you, right, DJ? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Bolting Sun was, right. was, Bolting Sun was technically DJ's first pick, but uh, Lennon had a no-show, and now... Bolting Sun is carrying for <laughs> his uh, yep. counterpart, Captain. All right, let's go through this after battle. Not much damage dealt. Touchy was no, the lead shoot on a damage. shot till I will give him that. He what? Left. What'd you say, Joe? Okay. Alrighty then. Sorry, check, checking to see if they're readied up. No, and I was saying, uh, Touchy was in the lead there. In yeah, damage. he was. If Butane would have just ran away, they would have won it. Well, it came down to that 1v1, Bolting versus Butane. It came down to that. Whoever won that exchange. Even if... Even if they both died, Touchy would have won it. If they were able to put that final shot into uh, um, Bolting, then even though Butane died, the damage was, like you say, in Touchy's favor. Yeah, Touchy really should have dropped an E5 off the side of that hill to assist Butane. If not assist Butane, just to finish Bolting Sun at the end. Because if an E5 was on the lower part of that, he would have had a clean shot at uh, Bolting Sun. Agreed. Agreed. All right, these guys are ready. All right, let's see Touchy's tanks first. Oh. Like the same setup. Same, setup. same pick. And same setup from... Lenity's team. Lenity. Well, do you guys the think old we're saying mess with the turt, you get the hurt. Yeah. Uh, we'll have to see it. something different. The tortoise pretty much has to turtle, right? It can't go power straight through the middle. Mm -mm. We'll see a turtle of some kind. I'm I'm guessing. Plus, it would be in the best move on their team being ahead right now. So we have Touchy B in the blue on the south and Lenity on the north in red. Like we're seeing pushes straight to the middle. Butane's going straight for that hill again, isn't he? Touchy, yeah. Yeah, he is. I don't think he'll get away scot free this time. That cheap If you guys notice. Close. Butane is actually running the gold octane. 
giving him 10% to his speed. He is giving her oh, this really? match to make sure. Yeah, he is running to high octane 105. He is giving her With just as silly as that. coffee as well. Yeah, he so has got made that tank as fast moving. as possible. Yeah. <laughs> there he goes, he's up there. We got Lenity helping Deadly get up the hill. He spotted. Oh, Crazy Lenity just took a shot uh, at me. Ooh, took two. Some. All of them team he missed that one. <laughs> Have you see the big bullet hole in the White House? Negative. There goes Deadly. He got it detected just there. Looks like they're going to the, the, negate the hill there. Do you think the tier 9 batch that is a wise choice in this uh, scenario? For Cliffs, it, for Cliffs I think it was. I was yeah. He has really three power well. DPM thing. <laughs> Lenity takes a big <laughs> whack at 400. Yeah, I don't think Touch is going to lay back this time. I think he's going to get it in there and deal the damage as much as he can. He doesn't want it yeah, done like he did last time. Looks like Wicked's going for the flank. He puts a puts a hit on Bolting, but it does not penetrate. Bolting Sun is tucking in here behind this rock. Making it tough for, uh, even though Wicked's got a side shot all the way from the other side there, he's, he's a tough shot. Wicked has pretty much Lended stalemated Bolting Sun. They bolted stalemated each other. Lenity and Touchy are stalemated with each other. I think uh, Deadly needs to pull forward a little bit, put a little pressure on Touchy so they can get out of there. Agreed. That seems to be the issue. If Deadly <clears throat> pulls wicked. up a eh, couple hundred meters. Looks like Butane's going around. Yeah. Yep. He's making the move, the fight to move. Deadly gets stuck with Butane by himself. It may be rough for Deadly. Yeah. Deadly doesn't realize he dropped down. He's still aiming at the top of the lighthouse. Lenity's got his team kind of tucked in pretty tight on that hill. It's a tough spot. Oh, Bolting takes a hit. Bolting just took. Yep. Bolting's playing a little bit too aggressive for the stalemate. Takes a hit, pays for it. Here comes Butane. Here we go, Bolting. Butane's going to come in. You're going to see some heads turning. Bolting takes a hit again. Everyone's going to have Deadly to, does to deal there. with Butane and Touchy's oh, attention in at the looking. same time. Slapping Bolting. He's Butane ignoring. Has to make a move right now. Or he's dead. He's ignoring the tortoise coming after him. He's, he's taking that tortoise on. That's what he's decided. He loses his uh, tank himself, but they take out Bolting. A tier 10 for a 9 is a fair trade indeed. Shots yeah, being exchanged in the deadly. triangle. Wicked. And then Deadly lands one on him. Double ricochet. <clears throat> Another ricochet. Okay. Oh, Wicked takes a one. fat one. Deadly hit gets a hit. Wicked is really open for that E5. Doesn't really have a lot of cover against the tortoise or Lenity. Wicked's like Wicked's way just, in the open here. I'm surprised. He's just, just wait. He just got another it. ammo rack on him. Hit. Oh, Deadly just wicked. Touch his guy. Touch his guy. The tortoise does not have a shot on E5. It does on the other one. And there goes his head. Right. Wicked oh, has got to get... push up and help out Touchy. Touchy's going to have this oh, game. Oh, what a bounce. Oh, that was a God. big hit. Oh, Looks like oh. Touchy oh. took damage there, but very little. Is he shooting HE at him? What? No. It might have been a hash with a bad... With it a might bad have been angle. a hash, yeah. Oh, he takes out Touchy, but... Uh, it looks like he's going to get right behind. All right, we're going so to go Touchy down. ties up the game. Yeah, we are going to Ghost Town for the third time today. Look at that. We've got uh, Money three with 2, different tankers. Yep. Mm -hmm. Call it out. Call it out, DJ. Call it the damage. Oh, we got 2,400 for Lenity. We got uh, Touchy had 26 uh, top for his team. Wicked had 2,300. It's a big game out of Wicked. Yeah.
his placement was uh, unconventional, to say the least, but he made it work. So Touchy gets to pick the side for Ghost Town because he was the one to tie up the game. We've seen this happen, like I said, twice already. Uh, a very tight battle for the loser's bracket of DJ versus uh, Smokey Joe. That was that was my favorite battle of the day so far. Um, and we had it also come down to... Uh, who, put, who who's the first one to go to that? Arctic. It was, Ar- that was Arctic versus DJ. So DJ went to Ghost Town both times, both games. Yep, unfortunately. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, at least you can say, DJ, that you went two wins out of six rounds, and Mark had 0 for 4. Different tanks, different <laughs> maps? What do you yeah. Think? yeah, all right. Yeah, I'm not going out without a fight, that's for sure. So, are we revealing the tanks here? No, he has to pick a side. Oh, These well, he... Sons of bitches. You, don't, you haven't spectated him yet. Well, fuck, they should pick Wayne. Language, Joe. My apologies for the language. You can... These gentlemen should watch what they do. Sorry, I gotta yeah, pay more attention. I gotta do the beeps. I forgot I was doing the beeps. Beep. You're the beep guy. <laughs> <laughs> Beep, 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 beep. That's that was my that was my mic when I was when I got blown up by Faust. <laughs> so the hard. The Touchy is requesting right now, guys. Touchy is requesting he be the south side, whichever that is. But that is not the way it works. You have to pick left side of the training room or right side of the training room. You have to do your own homework to know which side that is. If he had watched any of the matches today that involved Ghost Town, he would know, guys. This just goes to show you need to watch these streams. Right. It'd be left side for South. That's what I said. Honestly, it really doesn't matter on Ghost Town. It is such a symmetrical match. It does. Trust me, it does. It does match. It actually does match because you can get into the corners faster on the on South side. You can get That's to the D6 or B5 after. corner. Yeah, we, 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 every time we played in the comps, we played that same corner and then used the fast heavies to wrap around the outside of the encounter oh, God, with like South, a couple South fast South is runs. definitely the better side for fast tanks if you're going to roll mediums. But the thing is, whether you're going to roll them or not, you don't want the other team to have that opportunity to have that edge with the, with the faster tanks. You can actually climb both of the hills on the south, whereas you can't climb either of the hills on the north without a boost anyway. But you can climb both of those hills on the south by yourself. Uh, but to get guys to the cap, the north can get there faster. Like the way me and Faust went, if you want to get a couple big heavies up into the center, good. I find the north spawn is a lot easier to do it from. Honestly, thought you were gonna pull an eight-line turtle. <laughs> no. You know, like, like a, to your what's face. A, I forget who did it. Yeah, I know. I, you know, I wasn't gonna do a turtle. I don't turtle. What I was surprised. You know, I might be, I might be turtle you, power, you but didn't jump on Depp earlier. No, I was keeping him because I was trying to shoot you. You guys were leaving your sides open, so I was. I knew Depp couldn't shoot through there, and he wasn't pushing forward. So I was just putting shots on you, but the pen from that distance wasn't really doing well. I, I, as soon as you turn your tank flat, it was easier to shoot, but I couldn't shoot anything on an angle. I didn't realize the 50 ammo, uh, 59 is that bad with that. I was happy with the Batch at 9's premium pen. I didn't even have to aim. It would just go right through. Looks like we got a 120 from uh, Touchy. Deadly brings up the U100. Of the All right, let's do this, boys. So, double E fives <laughs> are very popular. Headset beeps. And I, however, is dying. was very un. I don't like their premium on that E five. I won't do that again. I can't. But next time. <laughs> Like the premiums, and they, they sink right into the ground. Mine didn't have any problems shooting you. Ooh, 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> we hit each other in the same spot. <laughs> you got an Amarack. I was like, oh, my God. Dude. We hit him in the same spot. Well, all right. So, Touchy does end up on the south left side in red, and Lenity is on the north. Well, you want oh, to look at the Chinese tanks with, with the red. Uh, They're kind of Christmassy. Oh, no. They do. They look like it's a little Christmas tank. A little bit of the green shown through. <laughs> so now they're running Bandos on chocolate. Let's see here. Should I be dubbing, uh, dubbing Sam as Santa's little helper right now then? Well, that is such a beautiful Christmassy tank. I got, I got to check this out. You're right, there's a little bit, that's what the guys are talking about. <laughs> yeah. When you play spectator, when you play in spectator mode, when you watch the spectator mode, it automatically makes all the paint of one team red and all the paint of the other team blue. That's not the way they see the game. Uh, they see the game with their own personal paint jobs. Uh, but for the spectators, they paint them red and blue. But that makes it look like a Christmas tank, so... It's like Looks like we have Wicked and Butane using their gun depression on the hill, overlooking the cap. Uh, Leonard, he maybe go up there and face them alone. Hmm. Wicked moves. moves up. Kind of sacrifices the position there a little bit. But it may help him with bolting if bolting decides to flank. Yeah, if he moves forward, boss. The interesting thing is the WZ cruising around the outer side of the map. He may end up behind Deadly. Uh, Touchy's playing like a regular 7v7 comp. And you see a lot of times when the south spawn, a lot of mediums push that <coughs> one corner first and start doing a swing around, finding their entry points. <laughs> For a 3v3, I don't know. It looks like Lenity has seen that Touchy's not there and he's pulled his whole team in against them. Hey, go bolting and deadly. Oh, there's a spot. spotted. spotted. Look, they're either yeah, turning the meat. Yeah, the bolting's going right after him. Right after him. We have a one on one. Leonard is also going after Touchy. Well, it looks like he landed. He's the second stick and put on that high, high, uh. Send his little helpers there. trying to get a shot in on bolting from the rear here. The gun of that WZ120 is is uh, pretty potent the first for a medium it's tank, a, especially uh, a tier 9 ricochet. medium tank. Right, there goes Lenity ringing the bell. Well, neither team has dealt any hard. damage here, but but a tie game, like a, uh, if time expires, it, it is an automatic draw no matter what the score is. Yeah, as you said it before, replay, cap or kill. Cap or kill, very eloquently put in three words. Lenny's seen the advantage now. He realizes Touch is nowhere near his team. He's trying to push. Uh, Do you teammates. see how low that cap goes down to with three tanks? I didn't expect it to yep. drop to a 30 second timer. It's, a, it's three minutes on its own. <laughs> Yeah, it, drop, it doesn't drop to Here's 30 the seconds. Man. Lenity was already on there for 15 seconds. It dropped to 45. If three guys pull on there at once, it's 45 okay. seconds. Silver. But but yeah, taking a touch, touch. A he puts a shot in the back end into Lenity. Bolting face down. Two for two. D5s are getting shooting, Lenity, up by the D5. it. Oh. Bounces. <laughs> D5s have not taken a shot. Lenity's yet. down. Lenity did not want to take the... Oh, and Deadly just took an ammo rack. Lenity did not want to take the uh, cap advantage. He, he tried to push through. It's cost him a tank. Bolting's getting hit from uh, Touchy and you think? There's another hit. The lowest bar armor on that Conqueror cannot withstand in the E5. Oh no. With Deadly's on his own once again. Poor Deadly, 3v1, and I don't think Deadly can do this. Oh, ricochet. 
Now, maybe if it was uh, Faust versus three DJs, that might be a different story. <laughs> With that ass angling superiority he has. Oh, uh, he can <laughs> half angle my nuts. Oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> God dang it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. The E5 has don't Santa's take little any helper damage. Win. That is, is brutal. I know he's not going to watch it anyway, so. <laughs> no. So although Lenity took the first battle uh, after time expired, uh, Sam was able, Touchy Bunny was able to come back and win back-to-back -back the same way that Joe did in his first game against, or, was that Joe? Who did that? That was Joe against DJ. No, no that I was won, Arctic lost against one. DJ. That was Arctic against DJ. Uh, the right. same way Arctic was able to bounce back and beat DJ two in a row. Bolting Sun, the only player on Lenity's team to land damage. Uh, Touchy B and Butane both dealing over 2,000 and Wicked One not far behind. Very evenly played game for, for Touchy's team. Uh, very well done. Let's see if Butane I can get them in here. Really good blocked damage at 2750. OZ5s were. Face to face, and they were getting it. There's no how many. Let's see how much they blocked. Twenty-seven fifty. Twenty-seven fifty. Yeah, for butane another. and. Oh, okay. Yeah, butane good. was blocking shots. Deadly block twenty-four forty, but. Uh, it kind of looked like that may have been a, some panic shots when they came up in there. I'm not sure. They looked a little mm. rushed. Hello. James. Sam, you. congratulations. Uh, well fought battle. It's uh, although Lenity was able to take the first round, very tight battle there. Uh, it looked like maybe you made, uh, you could have maybe pounced on, on Bolting Sun and evened it up. Yeah, Wicked bounced a couple of shots. So that was the issue there, but we dealt with it and we came if back. You guys so it's all evened good. up the score two two. We're fairly confident you would have won that first round. You were ahead on damage dealt. Oh, we were. But, we we uh, thought we were going to win on damage. Uh, so they came down to I that 1v1. It. it was yeah. a very good 1v1. So. Yeah. No, but that last game worked out perfectly. I thought the Conqueror was going to ignore me, and he did. He went back into the middle, and I just came in behind him. They didn't land enough shots, but... We got a fair few lucky bounces. I think we had about 4,000 block damage between two of us, which was pretty miraculous for an E4 and an E100. But you were, you were way out there, Touch. I was surprised when I didn't see the overmatch and push your E5s a lot earlier, like almost yeah. 45 to a whole minute. Like, you were out there. Like, as soon as I, oh, I was keep going, I figured, okay, Lenny's just going to see the E5s. But he waited until you were spotted, and then he ignored you anyway. So I don't understand why he didn't just push the E5s right at the get-go and use his high alpha damage to try to get some massive damage on there before you came in. Yeah. We focused, Len. As soon as I saw the E4 picked, I was like, the first thing that we are shooting is, is the E4. I want mm -hmm. that thing gone before anything else. So, so that brings <laughs> us to... Uh... Games, Len. Our last yeah, battle whatever. Don't care. Just tell me when my next match is. Trinidad versus <laughs> Arctic. And... It's funny, Bunny. It's funny. Never bounced more laughing, rounds in my buddy. life in a fucking E4, dude. Premium rounds bouncing Let... off the fucking lower plate like it's fucking tissue. Fucking bull. God. We're, We're just lie, finishing lie. off the stream here, Lenity. Um, I'm fucking raging Lenity. Have... <laughs> just letting you know. Next week, Lenity will go head to head against. Smokey Joe in their first game of the of the weekend. Uh, the the loser of that game will be eliminated. The winner of that game will move on to play a second game next week against the winner of my game versus the loser of the battle we have coming up just moments away, Arctic versus Trinidad. So Arctic versus Trinidad will move on to play the winner of that plays Touchy B. Uh, Two teams come out of this weekend undefeated, and those two teams that go undefeated this week only have to play one battle. So they're guaranteed 
to make it to week three. Touchy is guaranteed to make it to week three, whether he makes it to week three undefeated into the finals, straight into the finals, or if he loses to um, his opponent, he will go straight to the semifinals and battle his way back in. So that, do you have anything to comment on this battle here, Landy? You made it in a little bit late and I cut you off, but is there anything you want to add? Nothing without profanity, late streaming. Good games. <laughs> uh, con- beep, congratulations beep, again, Touchy. Beep. And that was it was a good battle to watch, Landy. You can No, it wasn't. Um... <laughs> hey, hey so Landy, fifty that... bounced off a of Faust like four times, dude. It was not Yeah, tier pleasant. tier nine's the only only damage dealer on my team. Two of the best, highest penetrating guns in the game. Bouncing off E fives. Okay. Stay tuned, guys. E5, we'll start Trinidad versus 